everyone, and welcome to the Russell Softball Complex for this Smackdown TV presentation of Russell Lady Red Devil Softball, part of the Tri-State Showcase as the Russell Lady Devils welcome in the Lincoln County Lady Patriots for this uh, afternoon affair here at the Russell Softball Complex. Russell comes into this game with a record of 11-3. and three. Lincoln County comes into the game with a record of 3-7. and seven. Lincoln County's out of the 12th region. And Lincoln County's coming off a 26-8 loss to Greenup County last night right here at the Russell Soccer, or not Soccer, Softball Complex. They're led by Coach Jeremy Ray. He's in his first year coaching Lincoln County. And Russell comes into the game with a record of 11 and three, as I said, coming off a 12 to one win last night over Huntington High. Good win for the Lady Devils here at their home field last evening. Russell, uh, of course, uh, uh, near the top of the 16th region this year. The 16th region softball tournament will be something to look forward to this year as uh, lots of teams could win it this year. Russell's right in that pack at the top, along with their fellow 63rd district teams, Greenup County, Raceland, even Lewis County. Other top teams in the region include Rowan County, East Carter, Boyd County, and Ashland could be a sleeper as well. They played Greenup really tough the other night, losing just five to three on their home field. They're announcing the starting lineup, so we'll take one more break here and be right back for the first pitch. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Free bread. Refuel. Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Welcome back here to the Russell Softball Complex, where the first pitch is about ready to be thrown by Audrey Patel. She takes the mound for Russell tonight with a pitching stat line looking like this. She's nine and three on the year. Well, according to the KHSA site, she won last game, last night's game as well. I would imagine it's probably ten and three now. Two point nine ERA, ninety eight strikeouts in eighty innings. Leading off for Lincoln County is Mackenzie Shelton. She's number 21, and she's just a sophomore. She's hitting 500 on the season. So Patel, eyes home plate, delivers the pitch. Shelton fouls it off for strike one. Audrey Patel on the mound for Russell, been a good player for the Lady Devils for many years, going to Wilmington College. Delivers that one high and outside. One ball, one strike, the count. To Shelton, the lefty leadoff hitter for Lincoln County. Good 
Good job by Shelton laying off that one. Two and one the count from Patel. Russell defense looks like this. Lily Smith's over at third base. Paige Hutchinson at shortstop. Gabby Oborn at second. Reese Cameron over at first base. Allie Highfield doing the catching behind the plate. Ava Howard, Bella Hall, and Carson Honecker are in the outfield as Patel delivers ball three to the 500 hitting sophomore Mackenzie Shelton. Just underway on a very nice day here, part of the Tri-State Showcase. Games going on here at Russell, Ashland, and Boyd County as Patel delivers that one outside. Ball four as Mackenzie Shelton takes her base. And Lincoln County has their leadoff hitter aboard. That'll bring Madison Cassidy to the plate. Madison Cassidy's a sophomore as well. It's a young Lincoln County team. She's hitting 211 on the season. So Shelton over at first, courtesy of a base on balls. And Cassidy at the plate. Patel delivers strike one to Cassidy. Good job by Audrey Patel there, regaining her pitching form after putting Shelton on. There's strike two right on the outside corner. In there is uh, Allie Highfield gets up and throws the ball down to first base to no avail as Shelton is back safely. O2 the count. Swing and a foul ball down the left field line out of play. Count will remain at no balls and two strikes here. Top of the first inning. Russell with an 11-3 record, one of the top teams in the 16th region this year. Already own a one district win so far. Oh, that one gets to the backstop, gets past Highfield, and Shelton will take second base. That'll be a ball, one ball and two strikes to count now to Madison Cassidy, the hitter for Lincoln County. Patel delivers the pitch. Cassidy pops it up. Looks like uh, Cameron coming in calling it. Makes the play from first base. Good job by Reese Cameron for the first out. That'll bring up Hallie Seiler at the plate. Seiler is another sophomore. She's hitting 478, second leading hitter on this Lincoln County team, so a runner in scoring position in the form of Kenzie Shelton out at second base. And Hallie Seiler looking to drive her in here. Patel delivers the pitch. It's just inside, ball one. Beautiful day for softball, beautiful day all across the tri-state here. All of our locations, as I said, we have games going on at Ashland, Boyd County, and right here at Russell all day long here as part of the tri-state Showcase. That ball's down low. Two balls and no strikes. Patel being careful here to the 478 hitting Hallie Seiler. Seiler fouls that one to the Russell dugout. Two balls and one strike the count. One away here in the top half of the first inning. We're just underway from Russell here atop. Red Devil Hill, right beside Russell High School. Off-speed pitch, grounded down to Lily Smith. She fires it across the infield. Good play by Lily Smith. Five to three on the out over to Reese Cameron as they retire Hallie Seiler for the second out of the inning. That'll bring up the cleanup hitter, Emerson Lynn, yet another sophomore for these Lincoln County Lady Patriots. She's hitting 261 on the season. So Lynn will take her chance at uh, driving in the game's first run. Mackenzie Shelton out there on second base, beneficiary of a leadoff walk. That one's up above the eyes of Lynn. One ball, no strikes. Lincoln County coming up to the Tri-State Showcase from the 12th region. There's strike one as uh, Shelton goes ahead and takes third base. 
Highfield stood up and uh, saw Emerson Lynn standing there in her way there. I don't know if it mattered really, but Shelton took third base on the stolen base. One ball, one strike, the count to Lynn. She's got a runner on third now. Opportunity to drive her in for the game's first run. Patel gets her foot on the rubber in the circle there. Delivers an off-speed pitch. Nice pitch there from Audrey Patel. Emerson Lynn swings and misses for the second strike. One ball and two strikes, two outs here in the top of the first. Patel trying to get out of this unscathed. Well, Lynn trying to drive in the game's first run. Swing and a miss. Audrey Patel comes through with a strikeout. So after half an inning of play here from Russell, it's uh, Lincoln County zero, and Russell's coming to bat. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. To know that we impacted him really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastad because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you. Welcome back here to the Russell Softball Complex in Russell, Kentucky, part of the Tri-State Showcase, the Russell Lady Devils facing the Lincoln County Lady Patriots. We're going into the bottom half of the first inning as Mackenzie Shelton, the pitcher on the mound tonight for Lincoln, or this afternoon for Lincoln County, completes her warm-ups. The defense for Lincoln County looks like this. Mackenzie Shelton on the mound, Hallie Seiler doing the catching behind the plate. Over at third base is Hallie Stafford. Shortstops Emily Jeffries. Madison Cassidy's out at second base. Emma Falters. Foster is over at first base. And the outfield looks like this. Shelby Smith in left field. Audrey Foster in center. And Trinity Price in right field. Paige Hutchinson stands in to lead off for Russell. Hutchinson hitting 429. She is a junior. And we're about ready to get this bottom half of the first inning underway. On a beautiful and windy day. Shelton delivers the pitch. That ball is sliced down the first baseline. Just foul by Hutchinson. She almost had that one in a dangerous spot down the right field line there. As I said, a windy day. You probably hear some of the wind in the microphone here as we sit outside at the Russell Complex. The American flag in center field is whipping, blowing out to left field. One ball, one strike now. Shelton threw that one just a little bit outside. Hutchinson chopped it to third base. Fielded cleanly across the diamond. Good play. Five to three on the out from Hallie Stafford, the third baseman over to Emma Foster for the first out of the inning for Lincoln County. Lincoln County plays in a tough 12th region of softball. West Jessamine looks like one of the top teams in that region this year, probably year in, year out. West Jessamine, good at most sports. Gabby Oborn stands in for the Lady Devils. Gabby is a 353 hitting sophomore. She takes ball one from Shelton. Oborn, a really great athlete. For Russell on the basketball court and here on the softball diamond. She slices that one down the first baseline as the first baseman almost got that one in foul territory. Could not quite get there. Emma Foster nearly got it. It falls harmlessly, though, for Oborn. One ball, one strike. One out here in the bottom of the first. Shelton on the mound for... Lincoln County has a 2-4 and four record on the season, 4.38 earned run average. She struck out 53 
in 38 innings as Oborn places that one well. Right in right field. She's going to go for two. Good hustle by Gabby Oborn as she's safely in for a double. Place the ball right out in right field in front of Trinity Price. And went ahead and challenged Price's arm, taking second on that one. Good double for Gabby Oborn. And that'll bring up Lily Smith, the senior, one of the senior leaders for Russell. Lily Smith's hitting 571. Four home runs on the season, 26 RBI. She's the leading RBI. Oh, there's a throw into left field. As Gabby Oborn swiped third, forced the throw, the errant throw, into left field from Hallie Seiler. And Gabby Oborn comes around for the game's first run. So I was getting ready to talk about Lily Smith being the leading RBI player on this Russell team. She won't have an RBI opportunity this time as Gabby Oborn stole third, and thanks to the error, she comes home to score. Lincoln County coach uh, Jeremy Ray heads out to the mound to talk to his squad, get them recomposed after giving up the game's first run here in the bottom of the first. Heads back to the dugout now, and Lily Smith will stand back in. Lily Smith, uh, probably the top player in the area, softball-wise, at least as far as a hitter goes. Uh, I'd say she's the top player in the area, 571. Well, well, one of them. We have a lot of good players on our My Town teams. You know, Skylar Lawrence for Greenup. Lily Smith drives that one right up the middle for a base hit, single into center field. Good job by Smith getting on first base. As I was going to say, Lily Smith, you know, good average on the year, hits for power. You know, it's hit more, I don't know, I need to check. Uh, she's the leading home run hitter of all time here at Russell. She has had a great career here and headed to James Madison to play Division I softball next season. That'll bring up Audrey Patel, another girl who's headed to play softball in college at Wilmington. She takes strike one. Patel hitting 410 on the season. She's the second leading RBI player for these Lady Devils. She has had two home runs and 17 RBIs. As Shelton delivers the pitch, Patel slices that one foul. No balls and two strikes to Audrey Patel with Lily Smith standing aboard first base for Russell. Leading one to nothing here in the bottom of the first. Shelton delivers the pitch, off-speed pitch, almost got the outside corner, did not do so. One ball, two strikes. The count to Audrey Patel. As Bella Hall for Russell, an eighth grader, waits on deck. Russell has a lot of youth on their team as well. They'll be good into the future. Good off-speed pitch that time from Shelton, but Patel hangs in there, makes contact. Keeps it one ball, two strikes, one out. Russell looking for a big inning, looking to deflate this Lincoln County team early in this one as they lost 26-8 to eight last night to Greenup County. Greenup County, a very powerful hitting team. That ball's outside. Two balls, two strikes. The count to Patel. Audrey Patel, like Lily Smith on first base, and that one comes up and goes right to the screen. I was almost getting ready to make a play. But the screen caught that one. Two balls, two strikes, still the count to Patel. As I said, Audrey Patel, she's had a great career here at Russell as well, as the Lily Smith, uh, the other senior on first base. Patel puts this one right to the shortstop, makes the play. Good play to second base for the force out, and Patel is on board via the fielder's choice. That was Emily Jeffries at shortstop, pitching it over to Madison Cassidy for the second out of the inning. So we'll put Patel on first via a fielder's choice, and Lily Smith goes down six to four for the second out of the inning. That brings Bella Hall to the plate for Russell. Bella Hall, 
Just an eighth grader, hitting 300 on the season. And batting fifth here in the Russell lineup. We have a runner, looks like Taylor Groves entering the game for Russell to run for Audrey Patel, the pitcher. As Patel gives Bella Hall some advice on her way back to the dugout, and Groves will run for her at first base. Two away here in the bottom half of the first inning. Kenzie Shelton trying to get out of this inning, just giving up one, swing and a miss. Groves going to go ahead and take second base. She does so. No balls. One strike to count to Hall. She put a big swing on that first one. Having some problems out there at second base. Second base seems to come undone rather easily. The wind is whipping here at the Russell Soccer or Softball Complex. I'm intending on this being a soccer game. Here we go. Good pitch there. Just, just off the plate from Kenzie Shelton. One ball, one strike to Bella Hall. I keep saying that because all my papers keep blowing away here. Here we go. Shelton delivers the pitch high into the air. Popped here right beside us. One ball, two strikes. The count to Bella Hall. Shelton looking for the out pitch to get her out of the inning as Taylor Grove stands out on second base in scoring position. Russell already up one to nothing, courtesy of the error on the catcher as uh, Bella Hall hangs in there, makes contact, keeping the count at one ball and two strikes. Groves out on second, running in place of Audrey Patel, the pitcher. Hall fouls that one down the third base line. Out in front of that one. She'll come back and try it again. Shelton been an effective pitcher with a 4.38 earned run average for Lincoln County so far this season. Didn't get to see that game last night. Don't know what. That's ball two just off the plate. And Groves going to challenge him. She takes into third base and forces another error. Groves is up, and she's going to run home as the ball was thrown away. So Russell taking advantage of some clumsy Lincoln County defense here early on in this one. Had the two-strike count to the hitter, Bella Hall, but uh, Groves just uh, – forced them to make a throw and Shelton fired it over to the third base line there rather than the third baseman. Allie Stafford. So it's two to nothing now. Russell on top. Thanks to the errors here in inning number one. That ball is low and away. Three balls and two strikes. Full count now to Bella Hall. She's fouled off several pitches. She's hung in there. Often when you see a player foul off as many as she has, she'll square one up here momentarily. She does put this one in play to the second baseman. And the second baseman, Madison Cassidy, makes the catch to get Lincoln County out of the inning. So, but not before. After one inning of play, Russell puts two on the board. Russell leads two to nothing. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Struggling with addiction or know someone who is? 
MyTown TV is here to help. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to MyTownTVCares.com for links and contact information for local resources dedicated to addiction recovery. You're not alone. Reach out today. Welcome back here to the Russell Softball Complex. Russell leads Lincoln County 2 to nothing after one inning of play. Lincoln County comes up with their number five, six, and seven hitters this inning. Hallie Stafford will lead things off for Lincoln County against Audrey Patel of Russell on the mound. Stafford, the third baseman for Lincoln County, takes strike one. Hallie Stafford is a senior. She's hitting 227 on the season for the Lady Patriots. As they try to answer here in the top half of the second inning, two runs put on the board by Russell in the bottom half of the first. Patel lets that one go up high. One ball and one strike, the count to Stafford. Swing and a miss. One ball and two strikes now to count. To Hallie Stafford. Here we go. Patel delivers the pitch off speed. Just off the plate. Two balls and two strikes to count. Nobody out here in the top half of the second inning. Patel delivers the pitch. That one's popped into left field. To back, 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 and it is against the fence. Stafford takes second base, and she trips over second base. She dives back into second base safely as the ball wasn't fielded cleanly by Russell anyway. Ava Howard went out there to get it in left field. Threw it in well, but uh, Stafford is on base with a powerful double to the wall. Just what Lincoln County needed, getting in business here in the top half of the second, trying to answer those two runs that Russell put on the board. Here's Emily Jeffries, number 27, left-handed hitter. Jeffries is hitting 450. She's the third leading hitter on this team. She's a junior. She has a wide stance there in the box. Uh, Patel throws it plate, Word and Jeffries fouls it back to the screen. No balls and one strike. Hallie Stafford stands out on second for the Patriots. Patel rocks into her pitching motion, throws a good off-speed pitch, and that one gets past high field, and Stafford will take third base, but it was a swing and a miss by Jeffries. No balls and two strikes, the count. Jeffries looking, into, looking to drive in the first run of the game for Lincoln County. She's got to make some contact here. She does make some contact, but a good play by Gabby O'Born out at second base. Line drive out for the first out of the inning. That'll bring Trinity Price to the plate. Trinity Price is another junior. She's hitting 211 on the season for Lincoln County. Trying to get this run home from third base. Just got to make some contact, put it in play, as Jeffries did. But unfortunately for her, that one caught Price there. She swung at that one, but uh, she's going to go on to first base and it hit her in the left shoulder. So, Russell coach Destiny Goyne is going to come out and have a word with the home plate umpire. As she felt, uh, you know, if she swung at the pitch, uh, she got hit with it, a pitch she swung at. He's, the umpire says she's, she takes first base. Goins going to have a word with both umpires now. So we'll get a lesson in the rules of softball here as the Trinity Price did swing at the pitch fully. No question about that. And she got hit on the left shoulder. She remains... At first base, I believe. Nope. Nope, it's a strike. That's insult to injury right there. Trinity Price, the junior, got hit in the shoulder, swung at it, gets a strike. 
has to come back, try it again. So no balls and one strike as Destiny Goins wins her argument with the umpires. Strike two. Highfield gets up and fires it down to third base to Lily Smith down there as Stafford back in safely. No balls and two strikes. One out here in the top half of the second inning. Russell on top, two to nothing. Lincoln County has a scoring threat happening, though. Hey, Hallie Stafford with the leadoff double this inning. Stands at third base. Trinity Price has an opportunity to knock her in. She fouls that one down the left field line. Stays in there. No balls and two strikes. Russell, an 11 and 3 team coming into this game today. Good start for first year head coach Destiny Goins. Price fouls that one back. Ooh, look up, everybody. Got some little kids out in the field here. They avoided harm there as the ball looked like nobody was looking as it fell in between them. Two to nothing. Russell on top. Patel delivers the 0-2 pitch. It's fouled back to the screen. Price hanging in there right now. After getting put aboard first base with the first pitch, getting hit in the left shoulder on a pitch he swung at, though. Destiny Goins won her argument with the umpires. Something you don't see very often. As an off-speed pitch from Audrey Patel gets Trinity Price swinging way out in front of that one for the second out of the inning. So Patel almost has worked her way out of trouble here. Two outs as Shelby Smith comes to bat. Shelby Smith, a sophomore, hitting 143 on the season for Lincoln County. As she will try her hand now at driving in the Run from third base, Hallie Stafford, who led off this inning with a double to the left field wall. Coach Jeremy Ray having a word with Shelby Smith before she heads to the plate. Big opportunity here for Smith to drive in the run. Patel delivers the pitch. It's a ball. One ball, no strikes. Patel's pitch is popped back behind us. One ball, one strike. Two away here in the top half of the second inning. Russell on top, two to nothing, part of the Tri-State Showcase. Games all day long here from Russell. Off-speed pitch, he drives this one to left field. Howard back on it, makes the catch in left field. For the third out of the inning, big catch by Ava Howard out in left field, ending the inning for the Russell Lady Devils. So after one and a half innings here from Russell, our score is Russell 2, Lincoln County nothing. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. From hand-cut steaks to fall off the bone ribs, Texas Roadhouse has something for everyone. Visit TexasRoadhouse.com or download the Texas Roadhouse mobile app to get on the wait list or place a to-go order online. Fresh baked bread and honey cinnamon butter await at Texas Roadhouse. Order their legendary catering for your next event. Located at 501 Winchester Avenue across from Ashland Town Center Mall, Texas Roadhouse will help you support your local school. Struggling with addiction or know someone who is? MyTown TV is here to help. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to MyTownTVCares.com for links and contact information for local resources dedicated to addiction recovery. You're not alone. Re Welcome back here to uh, MyTown TV's presentation of the Tri State Showcase here today at Russell, Russell, Kentucky. Russell, Kentucky playing host right now to the uh, Lincoln County Lady Patriots, leading two to nothing going into the bottom half of the second inning. Russell coming to bat with their number six, seven, and eight hitters. It'll be Ava Howard, Reese Cameron, and Jayla Chalupa. Is your left fielder number two, Ava Howard. 
as so often happens. Ava Howard, who made the catch to end the previous inning out in left field, is the first batter here in the bottom half of the second, facing Kenzie Shelton on the mound for Lincoln County. Ava Howard hitting 294 on the season. She's an eighth grader, another one of these young Russell players, Bella Hall and Ava Howard hit back-to-back -back here, both being eighth graders. Shelton delivers that one down and low, and outside, one ball and no strikes to Howard. Russell with a young team uh, at the bottom of this order here. Uh, Bella Hall's an eighth grader, Ava Howard an eighth grader. Carson Honecker's a seventh grader. We'll see her bat in just a little bit. That was fouled high and away behind us here. One ball, one strike, the count to Ava Howard. Hitting 294 on the season in this sixth spot for Russell. Off speed, well, just a little bit off the plate that time. Two balls and one strike, the count to Howard from Shelton. Taking her time on the mound here. Two balls and one strike to Howard. There's the pitch. It's just missed that one. Three balls and one strike. Howard trying to get on board here as the leadoff hitter here in the bottom half of the second inning and get something started for the Lady Devils once again. Howard pops that one up down the third base line as the third baseman Hallie Stafford makes the play for Lincoln County for the first out of the inning. Confidence shown there by the Russell coaches in their hitter, Ava Howard, letting her swing away a 3-0 count, I believe it was. Uh, well, it two balls, I'm not sure really. <laughs> it was three balls, yeah, three ball count. They went ahead and let her swing away. She popped it up to the third baseman. That'll bring Reese Cameron to the plate. Cameron takes the first one up high. Ball one. Reese Cameron, a senior, hitting 184 on the season for Russell and playing some good first base over there. There's the pitch from Shelton. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Kenzie Shelton, sophomore on the mound for Lincoln County. Doing it on the mound and at the plate for Lincoln County this season. She's a 500 hitter. She takes a timeout, backs off. Make sure all the signs are right as Cameron steps back in. There's the pitch. It's high and outside. Two balls and one strike now to Cameron. Jayla Chalupa stands on deck for Russell. Shelton rocks into the windup. Those are pitch. It's up high. Three balls and one strike now. It's two hitters in a row. She's worked the count to three balls. Got out of the last one. Ava Howard popped up to the third baseman. Stafford. This time, not so lucky as she puts Reese Cameron on with the base on balls. That'll bring up Jayla Chalupa. Jayla Chalupa is a junior, 235 hitting. Kalupa, okay. I'm going to go with the uh, PA guy's uh, pronunciation. C-H-A-L-U-P-A, Kalupa. At the plate, she takes it outside, ball one. Now, Kenzie Shelton on the mound, she's not somebody who typically has control problems. Only walked 19 in 38 innings so far this season. One ball, no strikes. The count to Kalupa, though. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. As Reese Cameron stands over at first base for the Lady Devils. On deck for... Russell is the seventh grader I was telling you about, Carson Honecker. That ball's outside. Two balls and one strike, the count. Now to Kalupa. And 
There's the pitch, uh, chopped up the middle. No, oh, nice field by the shortstop. Beautiful double play for Lincoln County as uh, the shortstop, Emily Jeffries, came through, caught the ball, stepped on second, and fired it on to Emma Foster at first for the third out of the inning. So after two complete, it's Russell two, Lincoln County zero. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines, such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. We are back here at the Russell Softball Complex where we have completed two innings of softball. Russell leads Lincoln County by a score of two to nothing. Lincoln County starts this inning with their number nine hitter, Emma Foster, standing in. Emma Foster is a senior hitting 143 on the season. Audrey Patel still on the mound for Russell. Patel has pitched all but seven innings of softball this season for the Lady Devils. Nice contact made there by Foster. Fielded by the shortstop on across to first base for the out. That was a good play by Paige Hutchinson there at shortstop, making the throw over to Reese Cameron for the first out. That'll turn the order back over to Kenzie Shelton. Comes in hitting 500 on the season. She walked her first at bat, made it around to third base. They couldn't get her home. Swing and a miss that time by Kenzie Shelton going upstairs to chase that one. Patel on the mound for the Lady Devils. Looks plateward, delivers the pitch off speed. Good job by... Shelton, it's bobbled over at first base by Cameron, and Kenzie Shelton will be on first base safely. So you have to go with the error there if you're the official scorer. Shelton on first base now. That'll bring up Madison Cassidy to the plate. Maddie Cassidy, a sophomore as well, hitting 211 on the season. She pops this one way high in the air. Foul ball. No balls and one strike. One away here in the top half of the third for Lincoln County. Shelton's over at first base. She's aboard her second time of the night. Hoping her friends can drive her home here. As she is the pitcher for Lincoln County. So some runs would be... Helpful to her here in the top half of the third inning. Russell on top, two to nothing. One ball, one strike. The count to Cassidy. Cassidy makes good contact on that one, but fouls it off down the left field. Line against the fence. One ball and two strikes now the count. Hallie Seiler stands on deck. She's the number two hitter, number three in the lineup, but number two average-wise on this Lincoln County team, hitting 478 on the season. So Lincoln County, the Lady Patriots, looking to do some damage here as Cassidy takes it up high, ball two. 2-2 two, two the count. As Shelton still stands over on first base. There's the pitch. And Fouled off. Good job by Cassidy. Got handcuffed on that one and stayed in there and made contact. Lives to fight another day. Two balls and two strikes. Still the count. 
is Audrey Patel on the mound for the Lady Devils, ready to deliver the pitch. Off speed pitch and got Cassidy way out in front of that one. Nice job by Audrey Patel. She has quite a change up going for her. That'll bring up Hallie Seiler. Seiler is the catcher for Lincoln County and a 478 hitter. So it's up to her here in the top half of the third inning with two outs and Patel. Seiler squares to bunt, pulls it back. They do send Shelton. She steals second base safely. So no balls and one strike to count to Seiler. But Shelton is now out in scoring position. So a base hit here gets a run for Lincoln County. As the sun goes behind the clouds for the first time since we've been out here, Josh, this is kind of nice. Here we go. Uh, the pitch is strike right down the middle. Zero balls and two strikes. Two outs here. Seiler got to be looking to make contact at anything around the plate. Shelton stands out on second. She's been the, well, each inning. The Lincoln County's had someone in scoring position every inning so far. Seiler pops this one back and out of play. No balls, two strikes to Hallie Seiler. As I said, Lincoln County's had runners in scoring position every inning so far, just unable to get them home, unable to get that big hit. As Coach Jeremy Ray going to come home and have a word with the home plate umpire. Not sure what this is about. Highfield heads out to the mound to talk to Audrey Patel. And we'll reset here. No balls and two strikes, two outs. Seiler still in there looking for the big hit for these Lady Patriots. Shelton out on second base. There's the pitch, off-speed pitch. Patel likes to go to that off-speed pitch to try to get the out. Seiler, good eye laying off of it. One ball and two strikes. Seiler grounded out to Lily Smith over at third base the first time she was up today. Check swing and Cotter looking. Strikeout for Audrey Patel to end the inning and end the threat here in the third. So after two and a half innings of play, it's Russell 2, Lincoln County nothing. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Trust is something earned, not given. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Welcome back here to My Town TV's presentation of the Tri-State Softball Showcase from Russell High School in Russell, Russell, Kentucky, the Russell Lady Devils, on top of the Lincoln County Lady Patriots right now, two to nothing as we head into the bottom half of the third inning. Russell going to bring to the plate their number nine, one and two hitters here. The number nine hitter is Carson Honecker. She is a seventh grader. Young player for Russell here, hitting 243 on this season so far. Then it'll turn back over to the top of the order for these Lady Devils with Paige Hutchinson waiting on deck and then Gabby Oborn. So Kenzie Shelton takes the circle here for the third inning. Honecker ready to stand into the batter's box for the Lady Devils. There's pitch number one from Shelton down low. One ball and no strikes to Honecker. These two teams coming off 
Much different results last night. Russell came up with a win here, 12 to one over Huntington. The Highlanders last night, while Lincoln County lost 26 to eight to Greenup County last night. That ball is just off the plate. Two balls and no strikes. I think Kenzie Shelton wanted that one on the outside corner. Here we go, Honecker. Stands in, that one's up high. Squeezing that strike zone right now. Three balls and no strikes to count to Honecker, to Carson Honecker. Russell looking to get their leadoff hitter aboard here. I would say she'd be taking all the way that time. She does take strike one from Shelton. Three balls and one strike now. The count to Carson Honecker. Shelton winds up. Swing and a miss from Honecker. Three balls and two strikes. We have a full count now. To the number nine hitter in the order for these Lady Devils, Carson Honecker, seventh grader. There's the pitch. It's popped up down the first base side. Players giving chase. Oh, almost a nice catch made over there by Emma Foster. Could not hang on to it, though. The count will remain full as Honecker gets back in the box. Would have been a really nice catch over there by Emma Foster in foul territory. The wind whipping here at the Russell Softball Complex. Would have been tough to make. That ball is hit to the third baseman. Fielded cleanly. Nice play made by Hallie Stafford over there. Right to Emma Foster. Five to three on the out. And there's one away here in the bottom of the third. That turns the Russell order over to Paige Hutchinson. 429 hitting Paige Hutchinson. She grounded out to Stafford at third base, her first at bat. As Shelton looks over to the dugout for her signs. She delivers that one outside. One ball and no strikes. Pitch that time from Shelton, fouled off. One ball, one strike to Paige Hutchinson, the leadoff hitter for the Lady Devils. I believe we have another game coming up here from the Russell Softball Complex at 4 o'clock. Make sure you tune in there at My Town TV for that one. Beautiful fielding that time by the shortstop, but it's an errant throw to first base by Emily Jeffries. And Paige Hutchinson, she's going to go all the way around to third base. Wow, Jeffries did a great job fielding the ball at shortstop, but just let one go wide of Emma Foster at first base. So Hutchinson winds up over on third base, thanks to the error. That brings Oborn to the plate. She doubled the first time at the plate. She sliced it to the right fielder. And uh, this kind of challenged the throwing arm, which uh, seems to be a common theme here. Russell wants to challenge Lincoln County's defense today. Oborn fouls that one on a bunt attempt back to the backstop. No balls and one strike. But Oborn challenged the throwing arm of the right fielder, and she wound up safe at second base, getting a double in her first at bat. Russell with Hutchinson over on third base. Thanks to the error. And Gabby Oborn stands in, jumps out of the way of that one. One ball, one strike to Oborn. Gabby Oborn, uh, she'll be one of the main players, key cogs for the Russell Lady Devil basketball team this coming season. Her and Kennedy Darnell, Oborn fouls that one off down the first base side. One ball and two strikes. A really good all-around athlete, Gabby Oborn. Comes from an athletic family. Her brothers, Dougie and Ethan, 
We're good athletes for Russell as well. One ball, two strikes to Oborn. Hutchinson over on third base. Shelton delivers the pitch. Oborn makes contact. Good job. Jeffrey scoops it up, fires it onto first base. Nope, not again. And Oborn going to go ahead and take second base. She's going to go around to third base now as the ball is just retrieved. Oborn going to challenge it at home. Oborn just going to come on home. An all systems breakdown for the Lincoln County defense there as Gabby Oborn got aboard first on the error and just kept running. As Lincoln County could not come up with the ball over there near their own dugout. So Gabby Oborn comes all the way around to score, making the score four to nothing now in favor of Russell. Really unfortunate there for Lincoln County because shortstop Emily Jeffries has made two good plays in a row uh, fielding the ball, but uh, the throws to first base were just a little bit uh, a little bit off target. And that time it really cost him there because Gabby Oborn, being the aggressive player she is, just kept right on going around the bases. So they are going to make this Lincoln County uh, defense make a play. That's clear part of the strategy of Russell today is a uh, our runners are just going to keep going. So four to nothing. Russell on top. That'll bring Lily Smith to the plate. Lily Smith in her first at bat. Uh, grounded, uh, well, she singled in her first at bat and then got forced out at second base on the fielder's choice by Audrey Patel. Smith stands in, capable of putting one over to the football field. She takes ball one. I would think Shelton would want to be very careful here with the powerful hitting Lily Smith. Smith drives that one to center field, and she drives that one into the distance. Home run for Lily Smith. Right on cue. Putting Russell up five to nothing as Lily Smith trots around the bases for her fifth. Home run of the season, and her 27th RBI. Not quite to the football field, as I said, but uh, just one, <laughs> not, not in the right direction, I guess, for the football field. <laughs> Good job by Lily Smith, though. Headed to James Madison University next year to play softball in college. And showing why. You know, you make a mistake to Lily Smith and she makes you pay for it. That brings Audrey Patel to the plate. Russell up now five to nothing. Here in the bottom half of the third inning. That ball's down low. One ball, no strikes. The count to Patel. Patel grounded into the fielder's choice the last time. Grounded it to the shortstop, Emily Jeffries. He's made some nice plays out there in the field tonight. Good glove on Jeffrey. She puts it that way again. This time Stafford bobbles it, and Patel will be aboard. So really the story of this game so far is the Lincoln County defense. They have made a quite a few errors, giving Russell an advantage here in inning number three, five to nothing. Taylor Groves comes in to run again for Audrey Patel, as we saw the last time. And just as we saw the last time, Audrey Patel stops by and has a few words with Bella Hall. Bella Hall hit the ball to the second baseman the last time, who caught it and got her out. Madison Cassidy, second baseman for Lincoln County. There's the pitch way down in the dirt that time. We have a huge gust of wind blowing everything away, but that ball skipped about halfway between the mound and home plate. One ball, no strikes. As Groves goes on down to second. One away in the inning. As Russell going to take a timeout here and gather everyone together. 
See what kind of play might be on here as the Lincoln County infield congregates at the mound. Bella Hall at the plate for Russell. One ball and no strikes. One out here in the bottom half of the third inning. Russell's extended their lead out to five to nothing. Thanks to some errors by Lincoln County. And then finally, thanks to a home run by Lily, Lily Smith over the left center field wall. Everybody gets reset. Groves out on second. Here's the pitch from Shelton. Russell does try to bunt. They did have a play on that time as Groves was off and running. But it's a foul ball. One ball and one strike. Lots of good softball going on today around the my Town TV coverage area. I believe my buddy Brian Barber's up at Ashland right now. Oh, that's a check swing. Uh, they say she went around one ball, two strikes. The count now is Groves. Was in between second base and third base, challenging the defense of Lincoln County once again. But uh, Lincoln County handled it admirably that time. Hallie Seiler just threw it down to third to Stafford. And stop that right where it was. One ball, two strikes to count. That one's just low. Two balls, two strikes. And this time Groves goes ahead and takes third base. As I said, my buddy Brian Barber's up there doing the uh, Ashland Belfry game, I believe, at noon. And then Mike Miller has games from Boyd County all day long. Here on My Town TV. That ball is low and outside. Full count to Bella Hall, the Russell eighth grader. Looking to drive in Taylor Groves from third base, who's running for Audrey Patel. Shelton delivers the full count pitch. Up high, puts her on. So runners on the corners now for Russell, and that'll bring Ava Howard to the plate. Ava Howard, an eighth grader, hitting 294 on the season with an opportunity to really, you know, really give Russell a significant advantage here in the bottom half of the third inning. Already up five to nothing. Runners on the corners. That one just off the plate. Shelton not been a, a beneficiary of those calls today at home plate. Uh, just, just off the plate. One ball, no strikes. Howard puts this one to Jeffries, makes the play. Fires it on to first base. Did she get the out? She did get the out at first base. But does pick up the RBI as well as Groves comes home. And that's 6-3 to three on the out on Ava Howard, the second out of the inning. Bella Hall moves on to second base. And that'll bring Reese Cameron to the plate. Reese Cameron, one of the seniors on this year's Russell team, hitting 184 on the season, an opportunity to drive home run number seven as Hall stands out at second base. That pitch is off the plate. One ball and no strikes. Bottom half of the third here from Russell. Russell in the lead six to nothing over Lincoln County thanks to a big inning here. Going for the Lady Devils in the bottom half of the third. That pitch is right down the heart of the plate. One ball and one strike. Two away. Kenzie Shelton out of the mound for the Lady Patriots. Delivers that one right down Broadway as well. One ball and two strikes. See if Shelton can get out of this inning. And stop Russell right here at this point in the order. That ball's just off the plate. Two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Six-nothing Russell on top here in the bottom half of the third. 
Reese Cameron, the batter for the Lady Devils. There's the pitch from Shelton. Fouled away. Count remains at two and two. Swing and a miss, and Shelton strikes out Cameron for the third out of the inning, but not before Russell pushes across four runs. After three complete, it's Russell six, Lincoln County nothing here on My Town TV. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.com. We're back here on My Town TV, our presentation of Tri-State Softball Showcase from Russell High School. Russell Lady Devils lead the Lincoln County Lady Patriots by a score of 6 to nothing as we head into the top half of the fourth inning, where Lincoln County will be coming to the plate with their four, five, and six hitters, Emerson Lynn, Hallie Stafford, and Emily Jeffries. Audrey Patel working on the shutout so far out there from the circle. She struck out the last two hitters for Lincoln County, the number two and three hitters, to get out of the third inning. That ball's popped high into the air. Shortstop calling everybody off and makes the play. Paige Hutchinson out at short. Making the play for the Lady Devils for the first out of the inning. That brings Hallie Stafford to the plate for Lincoln County. Hallie Stafford, a 227 hitting senior. She made some nice plays down at third base this afternoon for the Patriots. Patel gets her way out in front again of that. Great change up for Audrey Patel. Seems to be a very effective pitch for her. No balls in one strike, one away. There's the pitch from Patel. Stafford chops it foul down the third base line. No balls and two strikes. Audrey Patel pitching a pretty nice game for the Lady Devils so far. Tried to get uh, Stafford to go chasing on that one. She did not do so. One ball, two strikes the count. Patel delivers the pitch. Another change up. Two balls and two strikes. That one's high and outside. Two two to Stafford. Strike three, got her looking right down the middle. Audrey Patel makes the pitch, freezes her that time for the second out of the inning. And her fifth strikeout of the night or the afternoon here from Russell. Audrey Patel warming up as the weather warms up here this afternoon. Six nothing, Russell on top. That'll bring Emily Jeffries to the plate. The shortstop for Lincoln County. She's a 450 hitter and a junior. Really good hitter, Emily Jeffrey. She hit the ball to the second baseman last time, uh, Gabby Oborn, who caught it, got her out. See what the left hander, Emily Jeffries, does this time. Uh, 
There's Patel. Taking her time here before facing Jeffries. Jeffries going to go ahead and back out of the box now. Now everybody's ready. Patel delivers the pitch. Jeffries pops it out of play down the third baseline for strike one. Russell has a big week of softball upcoming here. Uh, today at 4 o'clock they play George Rogers Clark here on their home field as part of this uh, Tri-State Showcase. Patel delivers that one down low. One ball, one strike, the count to Jeffries. But on Tuesday of this week, they play Greenup County right here at the Russell Softball Complex. And on Thursday, they host Raceland. So two big district games coming up for the Russell Lady Devils this week. As they are 1-0 in district play so far. Jeffries chops this one to Oborn, makes the play on to Cameron at first for the third out of the inning. 1-2-3 inning. For Audrey Patel, after three and a half innings of play, it's Russell 6, Lincoln County, nothing, here on My Town TV. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. We're back here at the Russell Softball Field for the Tri-State Softball Showcase on this gorgeous Saturday afternoon. Six to nothing Russell on top of Lincoln County after three and a half innings of play. Russell will be bringing their, let's see, it's the number eight hitter, I believe, coming up. First, this inning is Jayla Kalupa and Carson Honecker, and then they'll turn the lineup back over to Paige Hutchinson at the top of the order here in the bottom of the fourth. Kenzie Shelton still out on the mound for Lincoln County. As Russell looks to tack on, to what is already a commanding six to nothing lead. So now Lincoln County coach Jeremy Ray coming out to have a word with the umpire. It could be some switches. Made and we'll try to Pick those up and follow along as looks like. Okay, we're changing pitchers right here. Emily Jeffries coming in to pitch now for Lincoln County. We'll try to pick up the numbers of everyone as best we can see them. Apologize in advance if I miss one of them. So Jeffries is going to take the mound now for Lincoln County. We'll have to see who's going to go fill in her spot at shortstop where she was. She's a left-handed pitcher. Looks like Madison Cassidy still at second base, and over at first base is still Emma Foster. Holly Stafford still the third baseman. Wouldn't surprise me if the shortstop just doesn't switch to Kenzie Shelton. As Jeffries completes her warm-ups here. Well, the shortstop. Uh, 
Autumn Durham comes in to play shortstop. So Autumn Durham comes off the bench to play short for the Lady Patriots. Number nine. So after the switches, we'll get this bottom of the fourth inning underway. With Russell on top, six to nothing. Facing the left-handed pitcher on the mound, Emily Jeffries. Jeffries is 1-0 on the season, a 3.15 earned run average. He struck out seven in over six innings pitched. That was coming into this weekend's Tri-State Showcase. I didn't see the game last night, but I saw the score on the KHSAA site. Where last night, this Lincoln County team gave up 26 runs to Greenup County, so that, that would probably destroy any good pitching stats he had going for the year, giving up 26 runs. Don't know what happened there, but uh, one ball, no strikes. The count to Kalupa. That ball's up high. Two balls and no strikes. As we've said, a lot to look forward to here in the 63rd district and the 16th region this year in girls softball. Um, Kalupa fouls that one off down the first base line. Two balls and one strike. But some very good teams in Russell, Greenup County, Raceland, Rowan County. You know, lots of teams in contention for the 16th region crown this year. East Carter, Boyd County's good. Ashland. Hard to tell who's going to come away with the 16th region crown this year. We look forward to bringing that to you on My Town TV. That's high. A good stop by the catcher that time, Hallie Seiler. Three balls and one strike. The count to Kalupa. That ball's high, and uh, Kalupa's put aboard via a walk. Now, Jeffries, looking at her stats, she has walked six in six innings, so she may be prone to the uh, base on balls. We'll see. Here's Carson Honecker, the number nine hitter for the Lady Devils. She grounded out to the third baseman Stafford last time. Kalupa over on first base. Jeffries rocks into her wind up and delivers strike one. Top of the Russell order waits on deck in the form of Paige Hutchinson. As the seventh grader, Carson Honecker stands in. Takes strike two. Jeffries has found the zone now. No balls and two strikes to Honecker. There's the pitch, chopped right back to Jeffrey. She fields it. Can she get rid of it? She did. Good job by Jeffries getting the ball over to Foster for the first out of the inning as Kalupa moves on to second base. So here comes Paige Hutchinson. She grounded out to the first base, or I'm sorry, the third baseman in her first at bat and uh, got aboard via an error on the shortstop in her second at bat. Well, she's 0 for 2 effectively on the night, but she did come around to score a run her last time at the plate. That one's up high. One ball, no strikes to Hutchinson, the leadoff hitter for the Lady Devils. Hutchinson hitting 429 on the season. The runner in scoring position. That one's up high as well. Two balls and no strikes. Jeffries delivers the pitch. That one's up high as well. Three balls and no strikes. And out of the zone on these against Hutchinson here, being very cautious 
with this dangerous top of the order for the Lady Devils. Here's the 3-0 pitch. Popped into the air. Second baseman closing out on it. It falls in there for a base hit for Paige Hutchinson. It's well placed there. As Kalupa stays out on second base, she had to stay there because she didn't know if the ball was going to be caught or not. It was not. So runners on first and second now. That'll bring Gabby Oborn to the plate. Gabby Oborn, is, she reached by an error last time as well. She doubled in her first at bat. She has runners on first and second for her now. She squares to bunt, lays down a bunt, foul down the third base side. One or No balls and one strike to Oborn. Lady Devils looking for a big inning here, one out. Runners on first and second, and they have the heart of their order up in Oborn and Lily Smith waits on deck. Ball's just off the plate. Two balls, or one ball and one strike now to Oborn. Jeffries delivers the pitch to Oborn. Swing and a miss. One ball and two strikes. See if Jeffries can negotiate this heart of the Lady Devil order. Russell already in front, six to nothing. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout that time as Jeffries makes the pitch to Gabby Oborn for the second out of the inning. And that brings the ever-dangerous Lily Smith to the plate. If you make a mistake to Lily Smith, she will put it out of here as she did in her last at bat. Hit a home run her last at bat, and uh, let's see what she has in store this time facing Emily Jeffries for the first time this evening. Jeffries throws that one high and outside, ball one. Smith came into the game hitting a whopping 571 on the year. Leads the team in RBIs, and she has two out there on the base pads right now. Takes that one low and away. Two balls and no strikes. Two outs in the inning. Jeffrey's being careful so far to Smith. Just off the plate, 3-0 the count. Can't imagine Jeffries gives Lily Smith here anything to hit. I would imagine Lily Smith gets the uh, old Barry Bonds treatment. Let's put you on first base, and that's exactly what happens there. They don't give Lily Smith anything to hit. That'll load up the bases, though, for Audrey Patel. And man, she can help her own calls here. Up six to nothing already. The base is full for Audrey Patel. No place to put her. Audrey Patel hitting 410 on the year. She has hit two home runs on the season and 17 RBIs. So she's capable of putting it out of here for a grand slam. That one's up high. One ball, no strikes. Especially with the wind whipping the way it is in the outfield tonight. That American flag, it is blowing from right field to left field. That one's up high as well. Two balls, no strikes. No place to put her now for Jeffries. Bella Hall stands on deck for the Lady Devils. Two outs in the inning. So force at any base here. That one's off the plate as well. Three balls and no strikes. I think Jeffries wanted that one. 3-0 the count. I wonder if Patel will be swinging away here. I would imagine so. The senior probably has the green light. She takes it off the plate, though. Ball four. That'll walk in a run. Third walk of the inning for Emily Jeffrey so far. Oh, 
And as we've seen each of the previous two times, Audrey Patel has reached base every time this game and in to run for her is Taylor Groves. And Audrey Patel will go ahead and stop off and have a word with Bella Hall, as is the custom, it seems. Groves in to run at first base. The bases are still full. Seven to nothing. Lincoln County's just one out is all they need to get out of this inning. Hall stands in against Jeffries. That pitch is up high. Ball one. Hall's 0 for 1 on the day. Uh, popped out in the first inning and then uh, walked in the third. That one's up high as well. Two balls and no strikes. That was down in the dirt. Nice stop made by Seiler behind home plate. Three balls and no strikes, though, the count to Bella Hall, the Russell eighth grader. Jeffries rocks into the windup, delivers the pitch. That's up high, ball four. Bella Hall will go on down to first base, and another run will... Come home for Russell. That is the fourth walk of this inning. Ava Howard comes to bat for Russell. Ava Howard hitting 294 on the season, coming up with the bases full. Takes strike one as Jeffries gets out in front of a, a hitter. That's a good thing for Jeffries. No balls, one strike, two outs, still two outs here in the bottom half of the fourth where Russell has taken an eight to nothing lead. That ball is chopped foul. No balls and two strikes now to Howard. As Jeffries is one pitch away from getting out of this inning. Here we go, the left-hander on the mound delivers the pitch. Just off the plate, one ball, two strikes. One ball, two strikes, two outs. And as Ava Howard trying to deliver a big run scoring hit for Russell. She does do so as she sends it to right field in between, well, right in front of the right fielder. How we're going to come on around to second base going in, and they're trying to clear the bases. They do clear the bases on that one. A three-run double for Ava Howard. That puts Russell up 11 to nothing now here in the bottom half of the fourth. And I believe it puts us in mercy rule range, Josh, if I'm not mistaken. I think Lincoln County would get a uh, bat here in the fifth inning as it stands. See if they can get within 10, 10 runs. Strike one to Reese Cameron. Who stands in with Ava Howard. Out on second base after the bases clearing double for Ava Howard. Jeffries delivers the pitch up high. Russell really challenging the Lincoln County defense, uh, trying to make them throw the ball errantly. Worked earlier in the game. So why not? 11 to nothing, Russell on top here. Bottom half of the fourth, Jeffries delivers the pitch. It's chopped back to Jeffries. Jeffries throws it on to first base for the out. Third out of the inning after four complete, it's 11 to nothing, Russell on top. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Struggling with addiction or know someone who is? My Town TV is here to help. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to MyTownTVCares.com for links and contact information for local resources dedicated to addiction recovery. You're not alone. Reach out today. <laughs> I'm 
began fostering in 2020. Having a caring adult is important and I wanted to make sure that I gave that to any child that was in need. I chose to foster with Ramy specifically because Ramy just, they get it. The support that I get with Ramy is excellent. Anytime I need something, I know who to call and I can call him. You know, it actually has positively impacted me because it started the Tolbert family. We're back here on My Town TV for the Tri-State Softball Showcase from Russell. There's the Russell Lady Devils lead the Lincoln County Lady Patriots by a score of 11 to nothing after four innings of play. Lincoln County will come to bat with their seven, eight, and nine hitters this inning here in the top half of the fifth, facing Audrey Patel, who has set down five Lincoln County hitters in a row. Leading off this inning for Lincoln County is Trinity Price. She takes ball one inside. Trinity Price, a junior, hitting 211 on the year. She struck out in her first at bat against Patel as Patel delivers ball two up high. Patel seems to be in command of the game so far. She's just given up the one hit on the evening or in the afternoon here to Hallie Stafford. A double to the wall as Price fouls that one off down the left field line. Two balls and one strike to Trinity Price. Patel looks over to the bench for her pitch signs as Trinity Price steps out of the box. As I said, a big week for Russell softball coming up. District games against Greenup County and Raceland right here at Russell. Those are on Tuesday night and Thursday night of this week. You can catch those on My Town TV. Three balls, one strike, the count. Patel. Delivers the pitch, well fielded at shortstop by Paige Hutchinson across to Cameron for out number one. To bring Shelby Smith to the plate, she flied out to the left fielder Ava Howard in her first try in the second inning. Shelby Smith is a sophomore. One of what appears to be a good sophomore class for this Lincoln County team. Out in front of that one, Patel delivering that patented off-speed pitch for strike one. Impressive pitching performance today by Audrey Patel. Strike two to Smith. As you can see why Russell one of the handful of teams at the top of the region this year that could come away with the 16th region crown. Patel delivers the pitch. That one's outside, trying to get Smith to chase. She doesn't do so. One ball, two strikes now to Shelby Smith. 11-0 the score. Russell on top here in the top half of the fifth inning. That one's popped high in the air to left field. Ava Howard calls it, has it for the second out of the inning. So two big flyouts to left field for Shelby Smith. She's made good contact, but right to Ava Howard both times. That'll yeah, bring Emma Foster to the plate for Lincoln County. Emma Foster, she's a senior, the first baseman. She grounded out to the shortstop. Paige Hutchinson in her first at bat, and she's only batted that one time tonight. We're in the top half of the fifth. Patel is mowing through this order pretty efficiently. As Foster rips that one down the left field line for a strike one, foul ball. If I'm not mistaken, the 10-run mercy rule would be in effect here 
if Lincoln County can't put one on the board here in the top half of the fifth inning. Russell leading 11 to nothing. Off speed pitch, Lily Smith scoops it up off the ground, fires it across the infield to Cameron for the out. And that is your ball game here from the Russell softball complex. Russell wins this one 11 to nothing over Lincoln County. We'll be right back to wrap things up on My Town TV. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Free bread. Refuel. Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Back here on My Town TV at the Russell Softball Complex, part of the Tri State Softball Showcase today, we're bringing to you all day long. The Russell Lady Devils defeated the Lincoln County Lady Patriots by a score of 11 to nothing. Star of the game for Russell was Audrey Patel on the mound. She had complete command of the game, throwing five innings, giving up no runs, striking out five along the way, and uh, really making the pitches she needed to every time she needed to make them. Good job by Audrey Patel today, the uh, cleanup hitter and uh, star pitcher for the Russell Lady Devils. Going down the Russell lineup today, Paige Hutchinson was one for three, Gabby Oborn one for three, Lily Smith, the hitting star of the game, two for two with a big home run. She scored twice. Audrey Patel in the fourth spot got on base every time by a fielder's choice one time, an error one time, and a walk one time. Taylor Groves came in to run for her each and every time and came across to score uh, each and every time. So Taylor Groves scores three runs in the place of Audrey Patel there at the four spot today. Bella Hall was 0 for 1. Ava Howard, 1 for 3. Reese Cameron, 0 for 2. Jayla Kalupa, 0 for 1. And Carson Honecker, 0 for 2. Russell Lady Devils will be coming up at 4 o'clock this afternoon to uh, face uh, the uh, George Rogers Clark Lady Cardinals. That'll be a good game, I'm sure, here from the Russell softball complex. We'll be bringing you that one on My Town TV. Josh, you'll be here for that one, right? Nope, nope, you won't be here for that one. We won't be here. Well, okay, we're going to bring in a new production crew for that one. But uh, thank you all for joining us for this one here. And uh, for now, we'll just say good afternoon, everybody, and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care, advice you can trust, advanced technology to understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. 
excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters. Because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years.